Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be reading you this story, Swimmy, by Leo Liony. And I think this might be Swimmy here. Let's read it and find out. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. There he is. One bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. Here he is. Swimming way. He swam away in the deep wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. Look at all those lovely rainbow colours. A lobster who walked about like a water moving machine. Strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. One, two, three. forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks. Look at all those lovely bright colours in the rocks. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. Very long. And sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees waving in the wind. There they are. Oh, and some starfish as well. Then, hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish, just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. You see what's happening here? And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. There he is. They look like a big fish. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. And that's the end of the story. Leo Liony wrote lots of stories. I've got some here. There's one about a mouse. Oh, another one about some mice. about some mice. I think he must have liked mice. And then there's this one about some colours. Maybe we could read this one another time. And then there's one about a crocodile. His name's Cornelius. Maybe you could have a look in the library for some Leo liony stories. Or maybe even 
On your own bookshelf at home, you might have a Leo Lyony story. Now we've read this story about Swimmy, I thought it'd be fun if we made something from the story or something that the story inspired us to make. So I had a little look around the house and I found some things that I thought I might use to make an underwater picture. I've got some foil here. I've got bits of material and some ribbons. I could use those, maybe later. And I've got some paints, pencils or crayons. I thought I might use the paint today. So I've already painted a piece of paper blue, ready for my underwater scene. I did it before so it would be nice and dry for us to start straight away. So I'm going to use my big piece of foil to make a fish. It's not going to be swimmy though because, what colour was he? Black. But this one's going to be silver. So I'll get my piece of foil and I'm going to draw a big fish shape on my foil. Maybe this could be one of the big bad tuners that ate all the fish. And I'll just make a very simple fish shape. There we go. Now, you could get your scissors and cut it out. But what I like to do is I like to do some tearing. And foils, nice and easy to tear. And you just tear along the line to make our fish shape along the bottom. You have to do it carefully though. You don't want to rip off his tail. And then around the corner there. Now, when I was thinking about what a fish has on its body, I thought, what could I use for some scales? So, I could maybe use this, or maybe this, but then I found this. It's a bit of net that's come off the orange bag from the fruit and vegetables. So what I'm going to do is I'm, only, I'm going to put it underneath the foil, and I'm going to rub over the top. Can you see those lines coming out on my silver fish they're like all the scales on the fish i need to move it down here to get some scales on his tail as well so i've made my fish so i'm going to get my water that i've already painted before and i'm going to paste it onto the page i'm going to put the paste on the water actually, not on the back of the fish because it's a little bit sticky and the foil tears easily. There we go. Put some paste down and there he is, my big silver tuna fish. But I think it would be nice to make a little swimmy to put in my picture. So I'm going to need some black paint. Just a little swimmy fish for my painting as well. Cut him out. You might like to wait for him to dry thoroughly, but these water paints dry really quickly. Cut out the swimmy. There you go, swimmy and stick him on as well. There we go. Two fish from the story. A little swimmy and a big silver tuna fish. Sometimes it's good to go back to the book and look for ideas. You can also look for ideas 
in other books about fish. I've got some books up here about things that live in the sea and fish. And sometimes it's good to look at pictures of different fish for inspiration. Some lovely stripy fish here. You might like to do a painting or a drawing of some different types of fish. But when I looked back in the swimmy book, I keep thinking oh, that, uh, that jellyfish would be nice to paint with those rainbow tentacles. But I was, I liked this picture of the seaweed forest. And when I was looking through all my scraps, it's not up there, it's here, I found this old piece of paper doily. Pop that up there. And I thought this pattern on the doily would make a lovely forest of seaweed like there. So I got my piece of paper and I lay, just tear that off the doily and I lay it on my paper and I might use some um, orange this time. Paint, paint, paint. We dab it in all those holes then it makes a nice pattern for our forest. Lift it up and there's my pattern. Do some more down this side. Paint, 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 paint. Paint, 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 paint. Wash my brush. There's some more pattern. And I might get a little bit of a different colour. I can do some maybe green. Paint, 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 paint. Paint, paint, paint. Lift it up. Left with those nice patterns. And then I can just get my paints. And I might do, to maybe do some more seaweed, a bit like a rainbow seaweed. And then, if you like, I made some little silver fish from before. We could add those in as well. Put some paste on the back. We've got one swimming down into the seaweed forest and here's another little one swimming in the bottom of the seaweed forest. So a seaweed forest. But you know you don't have to do what I've done, you can paint anything you like. You can use different mediums, find the things that you have around your house. And maybe you'd like to read a different story and make something out of a different book, whatever you would like. But we'd love to see what you've been making and the stories you've been reading. So if Mummy and Daddy may be able to take a photo of what you've been doing and send it in to us at preschool. We'd love to see it. All the teachers miss you all and we hope to see you really soon. Bye.